We are the fairest team of the Military Technical College and we are ready to compete in URC 2022 with our latest rover, the Fairest Rover. Our team is mainly consists of undergrad engineers and we are divided into four main groups, mechanical, electrical, science and navigation. Regarding the chassis, we are using carbon fiber rods along with aluminum parts that provide high strength to each issue, which made the required dimensions and provide either assembly and disassembly. A double wishbone system with air dumpers is fitted on each wheel, ensuring a direct contact between the four wheels and the ground, so it will be able to pass obstacles and maneuver hard rocky terrains with high stability. We use four independent motors with gearboxes that provide high torque and travel a maximum speed of 1.3 meters per second and a maximum inclination of 40 degrees, so it can withstand the harsh terrain and tackling all challenges during the competition. Motors are mounted inside dual bearing housings within our tires to protect them from rocks, dust and direct impacts. We designed our robotic arm to have 6 degrees of freedom. For the arm, we use linear actuators as it can lift high loads up to 1500 newtons. It is easily modified, giving us the required dimensions and workspace needed to do tasks with high accuracy. The arm is, is equipped with a solenoid and allen key as it speeds up the task. The arm's workspace is optimized to give us wide workspace while maintaining the required dimensions as it fits in a 1.2 meter cube box. Our rover is weighing 46 kilograms, which is less than the required weight and fits in a 1.2 meter cube box. The external communication is based on 2.4 GHz Wi Fi and 900 MHz RF, along with 5.8 GHz RF DVD link while internal communication consists of Ethernet serials and USB connections. We implemented a video server which supports multiple video transmission into a single video resulting in a fixed battery. It supports up to 6 cameras with bit rate of 5 megabits per second. For the autonomous task, localization is done through sensor fusion between LiDAR, GPS, IMU and stereo vision through which obstacles are detected using LiDAR. Our cameras are calibrated for AR detection with IMU to determine odometry and best pass planning. The rover is then visualized on Google Earth using GPS sensor to ensure the rover maintains its path. This year, electrical system is more reliable. Using a 12 volt battery enables us to conduct higher current. To ensure a safe system and to follow the computational rules, we use circuit breakers, fuse boxes, and emergency scale kill switch. Relays and regulators are used to provide components with suitable voltage. Motor drivers and microcontrollers are mounting on PCBs, making the connection more compact and traceable. To make the control system robust, we use the Intel Nuke as the brain of the system. It communicates with microcontrollers via buses wires. Our system maintains the ID control over the motors, so we can get a reliable closed-loop system. And for the arm, it's controlled by Arduino driven by linear actuators and servo motors. This year's GI is our window to a full rover control for all the missions. As for the extreme retrieval task and the equipment servicing task, we can access all the cameras in the rover, control the motors, and monitor their speeds and power. And for the science mission, we can get a feedback from all the sensors and integrate the readings to help include a precise test result. The science box this year is designed based on a 3D printed spar gear set, which carries 12 test tubes allowing for four reagents to be used on a single sample simultaneously. Along with the reagent delivery system consisting of liquid pumps, hoses, and a funnel to distribute the soil sample, we were able to fulfill the long spill policy. Besides these chemical tests, we're also using a wide variety of sensors to detect for the vital gases present in the soil and the surrounding atmosphere. That indicates the presence of any signs of life, either extinct or extinct. 